can really spam a lot of unnecessary time and add it to your workout what up guys Gary's fitness here so today i'm gonna talk about nine ways how to make your workout shorter so let's not waste time and let's get right to it so the first thing is to have a shorter breaks between sets which is quite obvious you can reduce your rest times by about 50 percent so obviously if you normally rest two minutes you will rest one minute 60 seconds 30 seconds it's one of the best ways actually to make your workout shorter i would use it with uh, the rep range of 10 to 15 sets because as soon as you start using heavier weights you will really have to rest longer anyway because your body needs the additional minute two three to uh, recover from the heavy set so i would use it with a moderate to higher rep range so the second thing is exercise selection it kind of ties into the heavier uh, reps because if you use squats deadlifts ohp those are very taxing exercises and they will therefore need longer rest times they will tax you uh, way more so i would uh, keep these exercises for the times you can actually stay in the gym uh, longer or the usual time you you stay in the gym and if you need uh, to have a shorter workout i would leave these out because they really tax your uh, nervous system your your muscles i would select exercises on the other hand that do not tax you like that meaning mostly isolation exercises i would also not use anything that requires you to do one limb or one side at a time the third thing is equipment selection by that i mean do not go for barbell exercises because you that will require you to load the plates unload the plates load the plates again i would go with dumbbells or cables because they are easy you don't need to set up anything apart from maybe a bench you grab the dumbbells do your exercise with cables you just select the weight and uh, you're ready to go another thing is if you're going to the gym at a time that are very busy have a backup plan i mean you should always have a backup plan but especially when you know you're gonna go to the gym and you need to be uh, in and out very quickly and you know that it's, it's busy have a backup plan meaning that if one one uh, machine for example is uh, occupied and you don't want to wait for it because you do not have the time just be ready to do another exercise for example if tricep push down machine is uh, occupied be ready to use dumbbells and train your tricep with dumbbells instead for example if the weight you want to use when it comes to dumbbells is being used by someone else and you don't want to wait go and do some push-ups if you were gonna do a bench press and if you already go there with a with a backup plan you will avoid uh, having to think of what you're gonna do on spot because that will again eat time from your workout that you want you could have spent actually working out the fifth thing to do is a three seven method now let me explain how that works you do three sets of bench press and you rest 10 to 15 seconds you do four rest to 10 for 15 seconds five rest six rest and seven and that's that's basically your whole set so this whole thing is composed of uh five mini sets but you only rest uh 10 to 15 seconds which means you will do a lot of effective reps you will and you will also go to or very close to failure within a very short time period altogether you will do 25 reps per this mini set and the benefit of it is that you will go to or close to failure multiple times of these batch sets uh, per exercise so you're saving ton of time so you can for example do bench press and you do one batch like that and then you go move to flies do one batch and your chest workout is over and if you choose the right weight i can guarantee your chest will be fried the sixth thing is drop sets i don't think i have to say much about that apart from you will you can reach a failure multiple times within that drop set uh you can do multiple drops so it doesn't mean you, you just do like i don't know 50 pounds then you drop to uh 40 and that's it you can do 50 40 30 20 10 and uh, you will reach multiple times failure throughout that drop set 
and you can you can basically do it one set will be a classic set and then the the second uh, set will be a normal set and then a drop set or you can just do a classic set and straight into drop sets uh and that will save you a lot of time as well and you will also st uh, stack a lot of volume so it's not like you're neglecting a volume to make your workout shorter you will get that volume you will get the failure and you will get shorter workout at the same time seventh thing and a great thing is supersets i mean everybody knows supersets i would say you can cut the time you work out by up to 50 percent one thing i would not do is choose compound lifts that you would superset together because again they will require to rest for way longer between your supersets because even if when you do supersets you should have at least some rest between those but i would i would do it with uh isolation exercises again bicep tricep bicep curls triceps push downs that way you can uh you can do both exercises with uh full effort and you will not have to rest after that for too long meaning that you will be ready to go and do another superset uh in a fairly short amount of time eighth thing is don't waste time talking i know some of you guys have uh workout partners or you have buddies in the gym but when it's time to really do a quick workout do not talk or limit it as much as you can go there kill the workout and get out because talking can really spam a lot of unnecessary time and add it to your workout in my opinion i think you should limit talking and uh, even if you have time and you don't you're not rushing to get in and out of gym i think you should limit it you should focus on your workout maybe a couple words for, with your gym buddies and uh, get straight back to uh, to the grind you guys can talk after workout you guys can go uh and uh you know go out or whatever later but man when it's time to work out limit it at any times if you can and the ninth thing is don't waste time on your phone and guys i've i've been guilty of it as well and it's crazy when you take that phone you look through your social media how quickly the time goes because uh i do i do use a uh, app to log in on my workouts and it also tracks my break times and many times i was already supposed to work out and for example the the break time i said was one and a half to two minutes and the two minutes were gone gone like this and maybe i was on the phone for three four minutes not even knowing because the time flies so limit your time limit the time you're on the phone while you work out and that applies even if you're not rushing but especially if you're rushing limit it to changing songs replying to messages or emails that are absolutely necessary to be dealt with right there other than that those emails and messages can wait and uh, limit it to logging your workouts log what you need to do anything uh, when it comes to the weight whatever log it put your phone down just look at uh, look at it when uh, for the to check how long you need to wait for your break to be over. Break is over. Get back right to it, guys. I hope this video helped. If you have any other ideas how to make your workout shorter, definitely drop it in the comments, and I will be seeing you in the next video.